Okay, so I've got a nice round button head, Allen head style screw bolt. Again, this is all stainless, so it shouldn't interact or counter react metal wise with any of the other steel components on the car. Uh, if anyone's not familiar with what that means, is if you start sticking galvanic or aluminum parts mixed with steel, you get counter corrosion because of the dissimilar properties of each of the metal. So, we're going to put that through there. Actually, I forgot a, a washer, so let's grab a washer. Got a nut. Catherine, if you would, grab the two little white baggies up there with uh, bolts inside of them. Yeah. That would be it. Holes in these fenders. Now, I can't speak for the 80, uh, or if maybe there are some fenders out there, since we all know the story with the fenders on these cars. First factory car ever recalled for rust in the fenders. So... Uh, these fenders in particular do not have the blinker marker light up on the top side of the fender, uh, which tells me they may have either been a low option fender or personally do this. All right, so I've got my washers ready, I've got my nuts ready, and I've got my hardware ready. Do you mind cutting open this package across the top using the scissors that are up by the opener? Come on. You know where they're at? Near the fridge? Near the fridge? Yes, there's a fridge in my garage, and not for what you think. Uh, okay. Let's get... I'm going to take my gloves off since warming up a bit. It's supposed to hit the 60s today. It is an, uh, a November day, early November. So we had a bit of a cold spell with a little bit of snow. And just before that, we had a little bit of a hurricane that kind of took out a good amount of the state, great state of New Jersey here. So, uh, and if you'll notice, I'm not using any Loctite. Like I said, I plan to take this back apart, so uh, for all those throwing things at their monitor right now, uh, that's uh, duly noted and uh, yeah. Uh, just so I can get it back apart. I don't need to be lock tightening it at this point. So, as we get going here, the brackets go right in. These brackets are going to mount to the lower radiator support. Thank you, Captain. And when all said and done, uh, this thing will add a definite effect of how she goes down the road. Now, just a little history. This car is approximately four to five cars of the F-body coupes. There's some Super Coupe in there. There's some uh, Volari uh, SE. So, this car is not anything of a factory numbers matching car. So again, all you purists, don't throw anything at the screen just yet. Um, I just like the way it, you know, looks, the body lines. I'm really not one of these purists, which I was, but then again, that comes with a price, and I don't play with that kind of money. Otherwise.